Hi, today I want to talk to you about Archive of Our Own. It is a website for fan fictions, novels, short stories, and poetry. It is such a perfect place for finding easy language works to translate. So I want to search for works. I hit here. We want, for example, poetry. The number is too big. We want to narrow it down. We edit our search. There, this is for any field I want. I would take down poetry because it would make it too broad. Uh, there is a title for the work, uh, the, the, the author's name, the date, but I don't have anything in mind, so I would just skip them. Uh, there are the complete works, if I want only just complete works, but I don't mind. Uh, there are the single chapters one, if they are novels or stories. Uh, there are the words count. Uh, there are, of course, the there's of course the language. I would choose English because I'm translating it into Arabic, for example. Here we have fandoms. I choose, for example, supernatural. Uh, there are I can cross uh, so fandoms, but I don't want to do that now. There are the ratings. Uh, I'm just choosing, uh, there, there, there's not rated, there is a general audience, I would take general. There, uh, there are warnings that the author uh, chooses to have for his work. Uh, for example, when I click major character death, only the works with this tag, with, with, which is character death, would appear. But I don't want that, so I would take the non warned works. There are the categories. Uh, I would take ge general. This refers for general. And here, characters. I, for example, choose Dean Winchester. There are the relationships if you remember any. And additional tags, like any tag you remember or prefer and the work you want to search for, we would choose, like we said, poetry. There are the heads, number of heads, which is the views, uh, but I don't remember them. Uh, codes, uh, which is works li just like likes uh, and comments, but I don't have anything for, in mind for these, so I would just skip them and hit search. Here, we narrowed down the number to 26 only. Here is the, the work title. Like we said, this is the rating we chose, this is the warning that we chose, which is no warning, uh, this is the category, and here is the fandom, and of course the character uh, name, and poetry, just like we added, uh, we sorted uh, in the search, in the search page, and uh, it's language, and here is the date of publishing this work, there are word count, there are chapters, which is one from one, uh, the codes uh, are six times been coded and bookmarks. Uh, it's been bookmarked one time. The views here, which are the hits, are 112. Uh, this is the title of the work and this is the author's page. And there are a summary if the author chooses to have any summary, which they did here, which is short poem by the. This is here the poem, this is the work. And here, we can click that to go to the top, or just we can code that. See here, thank you for leaving codes. This is like for anyone, whether you have an account or not. So, I like this work, I want to translate it, but how do I contact this author? I don't have any account, I'm just a viewer. I still can. I type down here a name, just any regular name I want to show, and of course, uh, an email, any email I have, and I type down the comment. When I type the comment, there are, of course, maximum for count, for characters count. And I hit comment. When I hit comment, it will go straight to the author's page on this work, of course. And I ask for permission or give, uh, for, for translating this work or give just my opinion about this work. And 99.99% of authors agree on translating their works because uh, when they are when their works are translated it means more readers which is exactly what they want and this is exactly how I uh, use archive or own uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching